Welcome to the Bold Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. And I know most of us who are receiving news that Nuru Okana has been missing. And of course, we've been trying to ask questions, but today I found an opportunity to come to his place. And of course, I'm going to catch up with the wife who is going to give us a very clear account of what transpired. And for the bold um, um, uh, subscribers, this is something that is so close to us because, as we normally say, when it comes to the personal arrests and prosecution, it is a trend that is going on. But then you never know whether it is me today, it is you tomorrow. And as we normally know, we normally go beyond the stories and talk about humanity. A man, someone's husband, someone's father is missing. And so that cannot be taken lightly. I want to bring in the wife who is going to give us a clear update of um, what exactly might have transpired there. But allow me because I want to engage high in Swahili so that it comes out well. Um, Sasa. Poa. Unaitoaji. Minaito Imelda. Yeah. Imelda tunajua kwamba wewe ni mke wa Nuru Okanga. Na tukapata tarifa kwamba hakuweza ku aliweza ku hayuko. Hebu tuambie jana hali ilikuwaje mpaka ndo katoka na yeye. Mimi hadi sijui hadi sielewi venye alikuja kuja tu hivyo na kumuinua juu. Sijui. Ilikuwa saa ngapi? Saa 8. Hmm. Na walikujaje wale ambao uliwaona ilikuwaje? Walikuja kama wana uniform za maskari. Sasa hadi mimi nilishangaa kuwafuata hivyo gari walikuwa wameificha. Kuwafuata hivyo juu simu yangu askari alinyang'anya. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa na simu yako na yake. Simu yangu Nuru alikuwa nayo. Mm -hmm. Na yake mimi nilikuwa nayo. Sasa mimi nilikuwa hapo kwa mlango. Askari mwenye alibaki nyuma wawili ndo walimpeleka. Mwenye alibaki nyuma akanyang'anya simu kwa mkono. Leta hii simu hapa. Mm -hmm. mm. Na wakatoka tuliona nyumba mnaishi third floor namba. Ni first floor. Ni first floor. So wakatoka na yeye kwa gate wakaenda. Eh hey, wakaenda. Gari zilikuwa ngapi? Mbili. Kutoka hapo umejaribu kumtafuta? Nimeenda hapa hivi Kayole police station ya yuko. Nikaenda matopeni jana peke yangu ayuko. Nikaenda hadi ka inaitwaje? Soweto ayuko. Hadi sasa hizi jipe yako. Nikipiga hizo ba simu zinaingia lakini hakuna manyana shika. Kuna time ulimtafuta simu zikaingia. Zilikuwa zinaingia lakini hakuna mahali kwa nashika. Ikafika jioni zikazimwa. Sasa hadi siji penye yako. Hmm. Nuru amekuwa akiongea sana kuhusu hali ya siasa nchini. Unadhani kuna uwezekano kwamba inahusishwa na hiyo kutoka kwake? Mi nafikiria ni hiyo. Maybe ni hiyo maandamano ya Monday maybe. Sijui lakini maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Wewe au wewe una feel aje tangu usikie kwamba yeye hayuko? Mi na feel pain kwa roho yangu. Jumi nimemzoea. Nimemzoea. Sasa venye ameenda na simu zake haziingii. Hadi simu yangu haiingii. Nashangaa kwa wapi? Na mtoto wako. Na mtoto wako wapi? Nikamoja kako nyumbani. Hmm. Umejaribu kuongea na wazazi nyumbani? Wazazi nimeongelesha. Mm -hmm. Lakini mama yake anasema anapanda leo, anafika kesho asubuhi. Kulikuwa na hali ya hatari kwamba huenda alikuwa kutafuta tafuta wewe kama ulikuwa na yeye alikuwa akikuambia kitu kama hiyo. Kuna venye anapigwanga simu akitishiwa tishiwa tu hizo. Mavitisho tisho tu lakini jana maybe ndio ilifika kwa hizo mavitisho sasa. Hmm. Alikuwa mgonjwa sasa alikuwa shapo na kwa sababu hata kabla ya kushikwa alikuwa kwa mgonjwa. Nuru alikuwa mgonjwa, alikuwa na malaria. Wengine wakaanza kusema sijui alipigwa kwa maandamano. Nuru hakupigwa kwa maandamano. Hmm. ni venye tu venye maybe ni hizo tia gas zilimoaffect akakuja akakuwa mgonjwa malaria lakini alitibiwa lakini hakuwa amepona kabisa tena ona amemshika na sijui amemshikia nini hmm. siku moja kabla ya kushikwa na siku mbili alikuwa na Raila Odinga walikutana alirudi akakwambia kwenda huenda waliongea mambo fulani hakuniambia hmm. haya nitakukubalia kae kando kidogo kwa sababu naisi na as guys you can understand is um, she looks a bit emotional and of course is because of the reality of a missing husband now according to other unconfirmed reports that we've received remember there are other arrests that have also allegedly been uh, witnessed gaucho uh, calvin's or was also arrested around donom 
And um, just uh, moments before we went live for this video, there are reports that they were spotted at the DCA headquarters, not yet confirmed, but then um, we are yet to find out. And f of course, from here, we also try to dig deep and find out what exactly is going on now. I know the question and, and one thing that as the family or as the bold we've been speaking about and that has been my position that uh, the cost of living or rather the mass action I don't think it can be contained by going at the periphery. If it has to be contained, it cannot be contained by physically starving. I don't think uh, the mass action is starved of the people that come, can come out. And um, at this age, and of course in this year, it will be something really wrong if someone can be arrested, arbitrary arrest without whereabouts. So that people really know what exactly uh, is going on. We're in an age where uh, we've come out of that that people cannot just be arrested because according to the law, if you're arrested, someone should know who has arrested you, whether it's the police, maybe processed in court, probably the arrest was on Friday, so we expect uh, that by Monday or Tuesday uh, be presented in court, let's see the charge sheet, so that um, whatever is being charged for, uh, we can see it coming to its logical conclusion. Now, as the bold family, I said that there are some stories that we've done enough of the armchair analysis, the desktop journalism. But when you go out and talk to real people, you interact with real problems and real stories. What am I talking about? I've just spoken to the wife and there is a lot that is needed. Nuru Okanga was a general. So I'm going to share the number that I'm going to, um, the number that you sing down there, you can use that number from whenever you are so that you can support this process. I know if Nuru is going to be presented in court, there is transport cost that is needed and also the motivation because at this time, I think family is going through a bit of um, that emotional stress that is going on. So let's, let's try to share with them in this situation. And I'm going to leave you with the part of another interview that I held uh, with her moments before I did this video. So, thank you and let's meet in the next. Jana tumekuwa tu kwa nyumba. Tulikuwa na ile nini ya kuama. Kuna rafiki yake mmoja hapo hivyo alikujanga kwa nyumba akatu akatuambia kuna mesikia venye kuna watu walikuwa naongea kusema tu anataka kunini. Kuna watu wamekuja wakamwambia ati wanataka kushika nuru aende wa yani kwa kona ambayo wampige wamvunje vuje miguu hasa akamwambia therefore hadi nafaa uhame hapa hivi utoke hapa sasa mimi nikamwambia nikamwambia nuru inafaa tuende tafute nyumba hasa juzi walienda wakatafuta nyumba na beshte yake wa kupata jana tukatoka tukienda kuzunguka naye tumezunguka tuko hiyo barabara tukaenda tukitafuta nyumba tukapata Saya haka niambia, wea ndanga kwa nyumba hivyo mina kuja. Saya kibago nika muwana hame kuja na gari, tuwame. Asa saya hile tunatuatua vitu inje, tukitua vitu. Saya kibago nika wana watu watatu wa anono hivyo waka kuja, wana uniform za maskari. Waka kuja, waka mchukua. Asa wawili ndo walienda na ye mbele. Na huu mmoja mwenye alibaki nyuma, li, nuru alikuwa na simi yangu kwa mfuko. Na mimi alikuwa na simi ya nuru. Sawa so, askari mwenye alibaki nyuma, akanyang'anya haka simu kwa mkono. Akaniambia leta hapa hii simu. Sasa mimi sasa namuuliza, "Kwani unachukua simu yangu kwa nini?" Nikimfuata hivyo. Nikaenda kumbe gari zao walikuwa wameachilia kutoka hapa paka ka distance tu. Walikuwa wameficha gari zao. Sasa so, mimi nawafuata. Sasa ile nawafuata hivi, wameshaenda wakaenda kabisa mbio na hao lakini ogari ambayo ilikuwa na maskari wa mevangu wa za blue lakini hao ingino wakuwa na uniform so hmm. kuna soi tunipenda kukuliza hmm. like, kuna namba plate muliona ya hizo gari unajua mkiti mekuja tu abruptly hmm. atukua tunajua kama atakuja kushi kwa ama hmm. na lafu hizo gari zinge kwa hapo kwa plot at least ndo mtu angepiga picha lakini zilikuwa zimeficha huko chini Sa jana, venye mi nilienda ni kimfata hivyo ni jua mende, amelekea njia gani. Nikienda ni kuuliza hapo kwa stage, hiyo magari mbili zimepita hapa zimeenda hivi, jua ama zimeenda hivyo, kanembe zimelekea saidi zaso etu. Sa nikasema siyezi chukua pikipiki ni mfate, 
na vitu zimewekwa kwa gari nyumba iko wazi watu wanaweza ingia waibe vitu mimi nikarudi kwa nyumba nikarudisha vitu kwa nyumba hasa nikatoka nikaenda hapo hivi kaiole police station kuuliza kama wampelekwa hapo hakuwa nikaenda hadi matopeni peke yangu tu hakukuwa huko hivyo nikatoka hadi nikaenda hadi ile police station ya Soweto baada ya kukua huko hivyo hmm? na polisi wanasemaje huko Soweto sasa nilipata hapo hivyo polisi mmoja nilienda kwanza hapo kwa ofisi nikauliza kuna mimi bibi ya Nuru Okanga kuna mtu mwenye ameletwa hapa hivi mgeni yani Nuru huyo ndio sendo bwanangu ndo ameletwa hapa hivi kuna venye ameletwa hapa wakaniambia yuko akaniambia bwa endo uliza wale maskari wenye kwa hiyo kwa hiyo rumu nyingine waenda kuangalia huko ndani kwenda kwa hiyo rumu nyingine nikauliza askari mmoja hapa alikuwa na mama mwingine yani ni maskari wote nikauliza huyo polisi mwingine nilikuwa nataka kujua tu kama bwanangu ameshikwa saa hizi na sijua mpeleka wapi nilikuwa nataka kujua kama ako hapa hivi saa so, bado namuuliza akaanza kuniambia tia wa polisi walikuwa wanono walikuwa wamevaa check check nikawaambia eh ni yao walikuwa wanono hivi sasa ile namuuliza siju usuniambie tu kama ameletwa huko jumi nilikuwa nataka tu kujua kama ako huko hivi wewe polisi akaniambia mimi sijui madam akanijamia mimi sijui sijui hizo vitu zenyewe unaniuliza na alijua aje ama polisi walikuwa wamevaa check check za white hiyo hmm? ndio sali nilikuja nikijiuliza alijua aje ama yeye ndo alikuwa mmoja wao sijui hiyo polisi wa soweto mimi na feel pain jadi sasa sijui hata penye yako. Simu zilikuwa zinaingia vizuri jana asubuhi. Ah hiyo saa nane simu zilikuwa zinaingia jua kona simu zote. Hmm. Simu zilikuwa zinaingia ikifika saa kumi na moja hivi. Zikazimwa. Sasa hii sijui hadi penye yako. Hmm. Wakati simu ilimtafuta mliongea kwa simu. Hako anashika. Zilikuwa zinalia. Zilikuwa zinalia tu lakini hakuna maana anashika. Mwalo Si hati tulikuwa tunaingia. Ni mimi ndio nilienda peke yangu. Okay. Nilienda kuuliza kama bwanangu ako hapo ndani. Wakaniambia ayuko, nikaenda police station zote ayuko. Sasa so, sijua kwa wapi ama amefichwa wapi sijui. Hmm. Ulisema ulienda kutafuta nyumba na rafiki wa Nuru mwingine ndio? Sio mimi ndio nilienda. Yeah, yeah, ni Nuru ndio alienda. Jana si ndio tulimetoka na Nuru tukienda kutafuta. Sasa so, mimi nashindwa. Tumezunguka kwa hii barabara tukaenda tukitafuta nyumba hawa kutushika mbona tumefika TV kwa nyumba tu hivi nao maskari wanakuja hmm. tumao wa maskari walikuja apart from uniform wali watolea anything to yenye ilikuwa inasema ni maskari hakuna walikuja kama wamemuinua juu kama wanampeleka hivyo kwa gari mimi nikimfuata hivyo nende nimwambia nisaidie simu basi hmm. wakamuingiza kwa gari kama wametoka zilikuwa gari za polisi zilikuwa tu personal personal to wili to black kugare ina gani black hivi to wili tudogo mhm report nilienda nilienda hapa hivi ni nikaiole police station nika report akaniambia yuko hajaletwa nimeandikisha kuna a missing person bwana hapa amepotea na ajulikani kwenye yako so niliambia after siju 24 hours jati mtu akishapelekwa hivyo Waezi andika tu hivyo na hiyo sasa. Mm, na sasa si kurudi. Okay so when you want be like after 24 hours are you planning now to go again when you angalie kama ameandikishwa na which police station are you planning to tembelea? Unajua mimi sina mtu wa kunielekeza ni hivyo acha niseme hivyo. Oh. Na familia yangu imefikiwa na report kwa wazazi hadi wanajaribu hiyo simu aone kai inaingia aingii hakuna mtu yote wa familia hata amekuja huko amekuja lakini tena ameenda alikuwa anakuja tu kuniuliza kunaenda aje je mm. hata ametoka tu kazi kuna ben nini natakika nataka support yangu ate nataka support gani kwa daktari saa mimi hadi siwezi jua juu sijui penye yako simu wako nazo hadi manamba kama ningekuwa na simu yake ama yangu ningajaribu venye azapigia dua kubwa sina simu hadi food pesa alienda nazo zote sina yeni sasa hivi hmm? sasa 
Nime kunya chai. Watu huwa wanamtishia tu kila siku. Mm. Na hii ya mwisho uh, unasema walikuwa wamepanga kuja kumpiga. Walikuwa? Wamepanga kuja kumpiga. Ndio akasema hapo. Eh, nasikia sijui kuna mwenye alikuwa amepeana 50,000 kwa vijana. Mm. Wakuja wamshike kwa namba ya wampiga ndio amvunje vunje miguu. Mm. So mimi nikamwambia inajua tuatarishe maisha yetu ama maisha yako. Nafaa tafute nyumba tu tuhame hapa hivi. Mm. Mm. Mwenye alikuwa amelipa hiyo 50,000 na Sijui, mimi hadi simjui nani. Na eni um, bunge yote amekuja kutembea labda mbunge wa Nigeria MCA ama MP. Ni venye simu wako nazo. Ningepiga simu ndo wakuje maybe. Lakini sina simu. Hakuna. So, Juu sina simu. Juu zote zote wako nazo. Hmm. Na mtu mwenye alikuwa anampigia simu akisema kuna maji maombi wa 50,000 au mbili. Je, amku kufuatilia mjue ni nani? Na labda historia ameipata wapi? Ni beshta yake tu yani alikuja tu kumwambia alikuwa anapita akasikia watu wakiongea sasa akajifanya ni kama sijua na bai kitu kusikiliza story. Hivyo. So, ungependa watu wakusaidiaje? Mimi nataka tu kujua ni yako wapi. Sijui hadi penye yako. Hmm. Na upande wa food. Sasa hiyo mtaona tu venye mtafanya. Jumi sina yeni. Pesa zote ako nazo. Simu zote wameenda nazo. Askari alinyang'anya simu kwa mkono. Hmm. Sina venye mimi naweza fanya na sijui Jumi nimetembea police station zote ayuko. Wakati kichukuliwa, akukwambia kitu. Walimpeleka mbio. Alikuwa amekaa ama alikuwa kwa nyumba. Sina kwambia tulikuwa tunatoa vitu tukipeleka kwa gari. Mm. Sasa ile amerudi kwa nyumba hivi na watu wanakuja. Alikuwa tu na short na t-shirt. Hivyo. Hadi ana sweater. Eh wewe kama bibi ya Nuru Okang. Unajua Nuru Okang ni mtu maarufu na mtu anajulikana. Ngambia wa Kenya nini? Yesu alia Nuru Okang sahi na ungetaka unge wasaidie Nuru Okanga kwa namna gani? Mimi nataka tu wanisaidie tu yani venye wanaweza hata kama mimi sina simu. Hata tu wakubwa wa jeto wako wapi? Wa jeto yani wako wapi ama wameficha wapi sijui. Sijui. Hmm.